the Lewis structure of Au2O, or gold one oxide, has gold, a metal, and I know it's a metal because it comes from the left-hand side of this staircase on all periodic tables, and oxygen, a non-metal, because it's on the right-hand side of that staircase, bonding together. Now, a metal and a non-metal will always combine to make an ionic compound, which means that electrons are transferred from one atom to the other, always from metal to non-metal. Now, oxygen is a non-metal in group 16. That means it brings six valence electrons with it. I'm just going to draw that while I get a chance. There's my O. One, two, three, four, five, six valence electrons. Note how I spread them out before I doubled them up. Gold, on the other hand, is a little trickier to know how many electrons to draw. Here in the transition metals, it, most of these atoms can have more than one possible charge. Gold, for example, can have a charge of either one or three. How do we know which one gold has in this case? Well, if you're given the name, it's right there. Gold one oxide means that the gold has a plus one charge. If you're given the formula, it's the subscript that had been on oxygen. This two in the formula had come from the charge that was on oxygen, a minus two charge. And the one that wasn't written on O came from the charge that had been on gold. Anyways, gold here brings one valence electron with it. So I'm going to draw it AU with one electron. Now, the trick behind Lewis structures is that nonmetals want a full octet, or eight electrons in the rotor shell. Oxygen here has six already, it's only two short. Well, we can get a seventh if gold gives up its electron. Now oxygen has seven. Where can oxygen get its final and eighth? The answer is from another gold atom, which will also willingly give up its electron. This is why we require two of these gold atoms to bond with a single oxygen, because oxygen wants eight valence electrons. The complete Lewis structure here has oxygen with its one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, see the extra two electrons there that came from the gold? Completing the octet on oxygen, giving it eight electrons total, and two extra electrons give it a charge of minus two. Now we need to draw the golds. The golds were AU, but they gave away their one electron each. So don't draw any electrons around it. Give it a plus one charge because it lost a minus charged electron. Subtracting a minus makes it plus. You'll have to draw it twice because you required two of them to balance out with the oxygen. There you go, your complete Lewis structure for gold one oxide. It's a beautiful thing, just like you are, my friends. Best of luck.